Welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War 2. This will be Operation Wolf Hand, where we will be rescuing an engineer, probably not the most necessary kind of person we need right now, but we're going in with the Snakey Snakey Squad, which is a fairly minimal investment, so uh, it should be kind of just a very quick and easy, you know, just go in, get the guy, get out, hopefully not too much. Recon too picked up a weak distress signal coming from this area. The resistance confirmed it's one of their codes, so we're moving in to provide an emergency extraction. We'll need to secure the area and escort the VIP to the evac point. Stay alert for hostile contacts. Of course, um, it delivered VIP to the extraction point, so that actually means that we will actually be reviewed. Thankfully, I brought a Shinobi along, uh, so it's not actually we're breaking out the VIP. You really need to pay attention to the wording because it's quite easy to confuse that between, you know, rescuing a VIP from a cell or extracting a VIP from a city, so... I'm feeling a bit dumb for not realising that when I set the mission, but I, I uh, probably shouldn't really be too much of an issue, so we'll see what happens. At least we've got, you know, grenades that we can use, so... Venice 15 5 target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Now, I actually think I saw like a what, like someone with armor just there right now. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do sneaky, sneaky, do this the sneaky, sneaky way. At least this is the side of the map, so that will allow us to give a wide berth, and then we just gotta figure out how to get get across up there to that building. So, oh, is moving to position. So it makes sense that we just have to scout with the shinobi first to really kind of suss out the area and hope that everything is safe. So, since, since the side of the map is here, we should be able to move here now. without too many problems. And and that seems to be the case. And of course, we will keep everyone a... We will keep people a reasonable step behind. And uh, we won't keep them too close. Keep them basically behind our shinobi. And there's our professor with the SMG. You're gonna go in... Position. You're gonna go in Overwatch. Can you... Oh god, the yelling. No. Okay, you're gonna air drift. You're gonna air drop the this guy. <laughs> so he can actually be useful. Oh she, it's a she, okay. Um was not paying attention. So since they're yelling, we should probably move very quickly. Uh hopefully uh hopefully it won't be any heading there now. Too many units nearby. I mean, so far it seems to be pretty good for now. Uh, we just don't know if there's anyone there, so... Got some hostiles grouped over here. So right up on the roof, that is lovely, so... Hmm... Basically, if they walk this way, then I know we're, we're, we're gonna be reviewed, which is kind of the problem. But at least Joan has a grenade now, which she can certainly use if we need a bit of a helping hand. So no doubt that will be useful. But we really shouldn't have activated those um on your order those civilians so what i'm gonna do now is airdrop another grenade actually can does my shinobi have a grenade oh she got the other grenade so um i guess airdrop's not gonna be useful but i'm still gonna airdrop a grenade to the to Joan. <laughs> So she got two grenades, and in the case we stay for three turns, then at least you know there will be there will be things we can do. Probably it just feels very very silly, understandably. Now the problem is they're walking this way. That means like if if the other two actually approach them, then they will be seen, which is not good news for them. Um, I guess the the other option is like we can try and sneak around the back, this way. Get up, get up here, and then hop forward in one or two turns, if possible. So I guess the question is, how are we going to do that? It's also partially dependent on which way they move. So I feel like I should at least try and get up on the roof just to get some eyes up there. the The other problem is that I don't know if they're actually going to go down, or and if they go down, come this way, then they're definitely going to see us. Heading out. Um, you know, that was probably not a good idea, because they could have easily seen us. Like, there could, could have been another mob there who could have seen us. So... Okay, we'll keep them, we'll keep them there. On the move! And then we'll keep our shinobi somewhere where she can keep an eye on them. The problem is if they move down there, I just hope they don't, like, flank. Flank her? 
So we'll get our Shinobi up there to keep an eye on things. On the move. And then we should be able to see what happens. Okay, actually no, I, I can yellow move. So we'll get her behind there. She can be our eyes. On the, move. the problem is like once they get down there, it'll be hard to see where they are. So we'll just see if they drop down. Okay. Okay, that makes things, you know, fairly approachable, so, obviously. Okay, let's go. Okay. Alright, so, basically, where can they move? The problem is, like, if I move right there, they will actually be able to see us, so... Um, it's like either the Shinobi throws a flashbang, or... Just trying to decide how we should... They could... They could... See, if they, like, can, if they can, like, move here, or they can move just straight there. And one of them throws a flashbang or a smoke grenade, then we should be kind of just safe to go, really. So, I guess the question is, how do we get there? Um, wow. Oh, no, this drone. Not, 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 not our specialist. Specialist can move here. So we'll move our specialist here. Moving to position. Okay, no activation. That's great. Oh, and the, pa the passenger's yelling. We'll get the professor up here. Oh no! Oh no! Well, I guess we kind of expected that to happen. Okay, so... It's, uh, ideally, our specialist throws the flashbang. But it cannot reach. So the specialist can see them as well. So it's got to be our shinobi throwing the flashbang. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we, we need the flashbang. Okay, so... On me. Okay, and we just gotta get the professor up a bit closer. Uh, we can definitely do that. I'm on it. All right, let's see how they react. Uh oh, he's standing up. That means something is gonna flank this guy. Oh. Okay. That's one way to do it, I suppose. Is he even... Whoa. I'm pretty sure he's got low profile, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. Incoming fire! Okay. So far, so good. Wow. Now, Joan is not going to make it to the evac in... Yeah, she won't, so... She's going to get, like, over there and throw a grenade. One of us is going to throw a smoke grenade. Uh, okay, I need to see who can make it to the evac. Professor can. So he can he can stay there and do two moves. Professor's gonna move over here and throw a grenade. And we're gonna need a smoke grenade as well. Uh-oh. God damn it. That's not good. Um... You can, you can run straight to evac. Professor can run straight to evac, but you can, you can, a, you can also aid protocol and smoke grenade. But you can't, you can't really can't see anyone at the moment. So, okay, we're gonna get the shinobi to run straight to evac. Stepping off. Professor, you gotta aid protocol our guy. I really shouldn't have put him on the edge because um that basically lowers the. Okay, Shinobi, off you go. And you can hunker down. Or throw a grenade. No, you're gonna hunker down. We gotta make sure. He <laughs> Just gotta absolutely make sure that um, he we minimize every single. Oh god. Oh, okay, that's the shield. That's fine. Don't have to worry about that. The, the only problem, the only, the only way this is gonna be a problem is that you. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god. Oh, you double moved. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a double move, that's fine. I want to see your percentage chance. Oh. What's... That's a grenade. Holy moly. That was not expected. I mean, on it. The more you know. Who would have thought that would have happened? Eva confirmed. Who would have thought that would have happened? <laughs> oh. Commander, we failed in our mission. We'll need to review our tactics and improve going forward. That's uh that's a new one. That's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. That's all I gotta say. And um we'll we'll take this loss because technically we only need an engineer and I mean it's not that we don't need it, it's just having an engineer would be nice, but right now it's like having an extra engineer wouldn't really do us any favors, so something this is one we can let go. Oh, would you look at my soldiers? <laughs> well, that's a lesson learned. They have incendiary grenades now. So that's something to be aware of. I should have. <laughs> And I guess that was expected to happen because they sort of realized that obviously they wouldn't be able to shoot. They wouldn't be able to hit if I had the guy hunkered down, smoke grenade and a protocol. So at least we go for motion, so I'll take that. And then we're gonna go for fail save as always. And we're gonna continue and um bear our losses and move on. Right, what's next? Alright, Advent incorporates defenses against our attacking Okay, that, that sucks. That sucks. We've got to roll with it though. And, um... Looks like we've got our H we've got our HQ assault next. Training completed. Hello. Carry on. So here's the Grenadier. Now, do we actually have any more rookies? Uh, we've got two. I would really love the rookies to be, like... Cheap. So we've got one, Nassim. He's got 15, 65. And I guess the question is, what, what, what do we need? Um, we've got a shin um, so with 65 aim, that's really not the, um, not, not the best aim either. Um, so, we've got plenty of grenadiers, we've got plenty of, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 gunners, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rangers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, shoot, shoot, sharp shooters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shinobis, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven specialists. And six technicals. Well, um... I feel like we need an assault, but I'm not, I'm not really keen on giving someone with 65 aim to be an assault, because, um, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating when they, you know, they get up to someone all close and, like, they just miss because the aim is so bad. So, I kind of just want to ditch this rookie and aim for something else, but I think if he's got low aim, he's got respectable movement and health, that's pretty average. Um, the least I could do is put him in a utility role, so that's either specialist or grenadier, and I, I always feel we could use more grenadiers. I mean, it's like, you can never have too, much, too many grenadiers, I suppose, but that really depends on how you want to look at it. I mean, I can make him a gunner, and a utility gunner, but um, I just don't think that's really gonna work out for him. The thing is, we do need more gunners, and I, I guess I guess it's like three, four, five, six, and it's, it it feels hard to fit a gun into my team because it's like if I it, I remember like the times I've used Amy, like I just kind of struggled to get her off the ground and to do things. Um, I definitely don't want him as a ranger. Low aim rangers are really not all that great. I could probably go for a sharpshooter, a utility sharpshooter. Because then, because then at least you can get the aim bonus from damn good ground and all the other ones. 
Um, the other thing is that I can make him a sneaky sneaky shinobi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we've got seven shinobis. And we've got one, two, three. Or I can make him a technical. Because he's got 15 movement. So I, I think I'll make him a technical. Because with 15 movement is not 16, but 15 is still respectable enough for him to actually kind of just like get around with a SMG and essentially, um, you know, still blow things up when we need to. So we'll train him as a technical. It'll take seven days. Pretty sure we can handle that because we're just not going to worry about it until then. All right, something's happened. In HQ assaults at 100%. And current enemy activity is swarming. Enemy materials 100% infiltrated. This is going to be a big one, so you know what? It's time for me to sign up now and um, mentally prepare for this mission. So as always, thank you for watching. Do apologize for this being a short video, but that, that it is how it is. And I am indeed not, well, I am indeed, I am indeed a little bummed that I did not get the opportunity to, um, to, to rescue the extra engineer but on the bright side we've learned that there are incendiary grenades now in action so yeah as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video where we will take on india's hq on operation doomfall